We're about to see how to install the software so that you can read EPUB format files on your PC or laptop. For the purpose of demonstration I've put one EPUB file on my desktop. I've actually already installed the software so for this demonstration I'll be reinstalling it but it basically works exactly the same way whether you're installing or reinstalling. EPUB format files are the most widely used file formats for ebooks. It's an international standard. There are piles and piles of free books available in EPUB format. EPUB is principally aimed at being used on things like smartphones, laptops and ebook reader devices but it's really useful to be able to read EPUB files on your laptop and PC which is why I'm doing this demonstration. Right, to get underway uh, we need to go to the Adobe Digital Edition download page. Uh, I've already found it to save time in this demo uh, but if you want to do this yourself you can either read this uh, URL off the top here www.adobe.com forward slash support forward slash digital editions forward slash downloads.html or just google Adobe Digital Editions and you'll find this page sooner or later. You've got a bit of choice here. Uh, I'd always go for the latest edition and I'm actually going to install the Windows version. That's what this demonstration is about. So I'm clicking on that. I've said I want to save the file and off it goes. <coughs> it's very quick, the initial download. As you can see I've done it earlier. Um, I'll just double click on that file. Um, I'll press run and and off it goes. Yes, I do want to go ahead with this. Yes, I want to carry on. Uh, now I have to accept the conditions as you always have to. Now here you've got some choices whether you want to associate the software with EPUB files. I definitely do that. And you can have the other things like whether you want it on your start menu, your desktop, or your quick launch shortcuts. I'll leave the whole lot there for now. Off we go. <coughs> this doesn't take that long. It's not a huge install. Um, there we are. It's done. And what will happen as I close this, it will open Adobe Digital Edition. And there it is. Uh, now, <coughs> that's very good. It, there's a... There's a a demonstration book here to give you some information about Adobe Digital Edition but if I just minimize out of here for a minute and go to my book because it's associated with this software if I double click on it it's going to open it in Adobe Digital Edition and there you are this is a book that I wrote some time ago now I'm not going to do a full tour of how to use the reader I'm sure you can work that out for yourself but just to point a few things it starts normally with the cover uh, at the bottom here you can see it shows you which page you're on. This is one of 86 and you can tab your way through at the bottom here by clicking on these arrows uh, or you can, as I've done there, or you've also got uh, arrows at the top. Uh, and there's lots and lots of adjustments uh, in terms of the size of the image and so on. So uh, once you've got it installed it's very easy to use um, and uh, very handy indeed and do try to find free and other books to read on it. That's it, how to install the software so that you can see Adobe, uh, so you can see EPUB files in Adobe Edition, uh, Digital Edition on your laptop or PC.